What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kai, and I am back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Kai, and you are tuning into my YouTube channel. It must be Kai. Definitely go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe button before we get right into this video, where I'm gonna be sharing with y'all my top five wash and go products. So if you're interested in my top five and my lineup and the reasons why, definitely stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video per usual. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all my top five wash and go products, okay? So these are the products that have been in my heart, all right, that have really come to the forefront and did a big one, okay? I don't think I've done this video in a while because for a while I just found myself just kind of being repetitive with the wash and go products. But recently I have been trying some new products as well. So I'm just like, let me go ahead and redo my lineup because even if some things are the same, because you know, I'm just big Virgo energy, like sometimes stuff just gonna be the same. Like some of this stuff has been in a lineup before, but I mean, it is what it is because it might've been in the third lineup, but it wasn't in the second or it wasn't in the fifth lineup. So it might be back in this lineup. You never know, but I always gotta put y'all on to different products. And baby, when it makes my top five, that's when you know, that's when you know I fact checked it, okay? Like it's it must be kind of approved and that I thoroughly enjoyed it in order to remember it because y'all, let me tell you, when I do these top five videos and then we're gonna get into the count now, and then we're gonna get into it, I just grab. I go up under that sink and I be like, top five, pull, 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 pull. I do not take a minute to evaluate. I don't take time to think about it because I know. I know who done did, who, who done, who done did they big one. I know who's shown out. I know who came, played, showed up. I know who lasted. I know who shined. I know who gave me body, volume, and all that good stuff. So with that being said, these are in no particular order, but these are my top five wash and go products. So let's go ahead and get it right into it. Starting off with number one. First things first, we are starting off with, this has been in a couple lineups. Go ahead and guess. Go ahead and guess. Comment down below, and now I'ma show you, baby. It's gonna it's gonna make it every time. It's gonna make it every time. Yes, this is not a styler, but this is a leave-in. And the reason why I love this leave-in and I still swear by this leave-in, number one, is because of the slip. So when it comes to having a slip, y'all know I need to detangle my hair before I even do a wash and go. Before I even do a wash and go, I have to detangle my hair. This is so light and slippery and non-reactive. I love it. It gets the job done because we all know that all wash and go products do not have slip, okay? They just don't, and that's all right, but you might like the product. So it's hard trying to find a step before in between you actually put the product in to detangle your hair. So it's nice for me to wash my hair, condition it, or if I just decide to do a co-wash or if I just decide to rinse my hair and still be able to detangle it and use wash and go products. The reason why I also call this non-reactive is because I can pair this with a lot of different products. Y'all know I test it on the back of my hand to make sure that it does not roll up, foam up, flake up, none of that stuff. And this is very non-reactive. And I just use a little bit to detangle my hair and I never have an issue with putting another product on it, another styler, another curler on top of this. So that's why this has really came, showed up and showed out no matter what the circumstance. Like I can do this and do, I can literally probably count in my hand, on my hand five other products that I can layer on top of this and it's not gonna roll up, ball up or flake off. So that's why this is going to be my number one. This is the Quench Leave-In Conditioner. This is on Jackie's Curls and Coils, but y'all already knew that. Like it's plenty of videos of me holding it up, talking about some to the camera because I use this all the time, like y'all know. So I had to go ahead and get this out of the way and tell y'all 
it takes the number one spot just because of how many products I've been trying and I've needed to detangle my hair. And it's always been right there with me and it does not cause other products to react negatively to it. So it just gives me more freedom, okay? And it saves me a lot of time. Detangle my hair and I can put whatever I want on top of it after. Like imagine me having to go through four, five, six, seven, eight different leave-ins to try to figure out who's gonna react best. Baby, this do the job, okay? So give her her flowers and let's go ahead and get into number two. All right, so a number two is one that I have thoroughly enjoyed. Y'all have seen the review on this and just know that every time I use one of these products, I am going to link it down below so y'all can see that exact video where I did use these products and where I did try these products out. So in the number two spot is going to be the Do Big Papa, the Defining Gel, okay? I love this product. This is actually a new jar, so I finished my old jar, so this is a new one. I actually was able to get it at Marshall's for 10 bucks. So baby, when you see this at Marshall's for 10 bucks, we gotta get it, we have to get it, we have to have it. So once again, it's the product, y'all have seen me try, use, and review this. I This product did its big one as well. I really like this product. This is a one product wash and go, but like I said, it always pairs well with the leave-in of my choice because that's what I'd be looking for. But this product right here, I don't have to deal with any flaking. The wash and go lasts long because y'all know I don't play that. I have a full-time job. I got stuff to do. And I can't be redoing my wash and go every two, three days or putting it up in a ponytail when it started looking bad, okay? I need a long lasting wash and go and this is definitely her, okay? A long lasting wash and go that I don't have to refresh too often. Yes, I will refresh if I have to. Like for example, it's pouring down rain today. I did not have an umbrella. So when I left to work, I actually had to run through the rain. So I do have a little bit of frizz right now on this wash and go, but that's the only time that I like to have to define my wash and go. I shouldn't have to use a product and define the wash and go in the middle of the week all the time because it just doesn't hold. Like we're not doing that. But this right here, Immaculate. This right here, immaculate, okay? The hole, the shine, the curls, uh, it, it, it just does its business. This is definitely taking the number two spot. If you haven't tried this product out or seen the video of my review on this product, check it out because that's why it's in my number two spot. So let's go ahead and get into the next one. All right, y'all, so number three, I actually have not used this product in a while. Like I typically use this product in the summer. Um, I think that was the last time I used it. Cause I was just like, dang, like when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this product, but I just have not used it in a long time. It has appeared on my channel. It has appeared in a countdown as well. So this right here has appeared before. It's been on a top five. It's been on a couple of videos. This is the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed recipe. This is the Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curl Gel. So y'all know I have not used this product in a while. And it's just because I don't have enough. Like it's just because I don't have any more. So I only have a little bit left in here. And I think this is like my second jar that I have. I do wish the jars were bigger. But comment down below if there is a larger jar than this because I have been reading my comments and trying to respond to them. And people have told me that, sis, that ain't the biggest jar. You could get a jar bigger than that because I just, I, I buy stuff in bulk. I don't know about y'all, but I am one of those people who buy stuff in bulk because I hate having to run back and replenish and purchase and purchase and purchase over and over and over again. I'm talking about with toilet paper, paper towel and clothes detergent. Like we buy in bulk, okay? So, with this, I love this Don't Shrink. I pretty much used it last summer. I hadn't used it in a minute, but it's just because I need a new jar because there's not enough in here for my whole head. I was about to use it one day and just like try to stretch it. And I was like, can be for real? Like be so for real, like be so for real. This, it, this amount that's in here, I don't even know if y'all can see, y'all can tell. That is not covering my whole head. Like look at that, that's it. That's all I got. It's not gonna do the job. So what I have, ooh, it's still, I forgot how good it smelled. I gotta get back on this. This goes in the top five because this is a bomb wash and go. Like this is a nice freeform wash and go. So the dew gives me a uniform wash and go. 
like very uniform, very crisp. This is a free form wash and go, and I love it. So this top five, don't shrink. If you haven't tried it, what are you doing? Because I've been reviewed this. I've been told y'all it was tea. Gives a really nice fluffy, just free form wash and go. So this product appears again in the top five, even though I haven't used it in a long time. It's an oldie, but a goodie, but it's not going nowhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into number four. All right, y'all. So number four is a wash and go product that I like, but I did have to play with it a little bit because the hole was something like I ain't never experienced before. Like the hole was harder than Wetline Extreme. Like it, the hole was holding and I didn't know how to, you know, I didn't know how to deal with that. So this is a product that I did have to learn how to apply. I had to learn what to do after and everything, but it still takes the cake and I'm gonna give it its flowers. It's the Do Be Girl. This is the Honey Curl Custard. This product is nice. I love this product, one, because I get a lot of wash and goes out of it. Y'all already know. I get a lot of wash and goes out of it. This is still the first jar and I still have enough in here to do a whole nother wash and go because of the texture of it being a custard and it's in a jar and not a pump. I feel like a couple of hair companies need to hear that. It's a custard, but it's in a jar and not a pump. So I can distribute it differently. You just distribute it differently and you just get a little more because you have to scoop it. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe that's math and science that I don't know. But anyway, I just feel like I just feel like I have more of this. So this product, like I said, is something that I did have to play with because it's sticky. It's real sticky. It come, it, I had to, you know, take a few points off it because of the smell, because the smell just gets gives me really chemically smells. It doesn't give me honey, but I could look past that. But this, this hole is something dangerous. Like after I put this on, my hair shrinks to its full potential. Each curl is defined with a shine on it and it is crunchy. It's real crunchy. Like this product do not, my hair be sticking to my neck and my ear. Like sticking to my head, my neck and my ear, like harder than gel. Y'all know I actually laid this over my baby hair one time and laid my baby hair down with this and tied it down and let it dry. And it laid down all, or what did I do? I put like, I did like wet line extreme and did my baby hair and then just did a little dab of this on each little swoop and baby, it was stuck, okay? So I use this for multiple reasons. I can use it to hold my baby hair down all day and I can use it all over my head, but let me say something. The hold on this deserves, deserves to be in my top five. This wash and go lasts so long. Whenever I rinse it out, I be like, dang, it wasn't even time, but I mean, it's time for something else. It's time for me to do something else to my hair. It's time for a wash, but it, it's never time for this to be rinsed out because the wash and go is still crispy. And y'all know I did do a video of how I moisturize my wash and go. That's the only thing. My wash and go does feel a little dry because the hold is a, is a 20. The hold is a hundred. So my wash and go does feel a little dry, but I just take a little oil or a little butter on my hands and just uh, scrunch the crunch out just a tad, but that still does not mess with the longevity of this product. So this right here, go get it. Love it, you won't be disappointed. Just know you might have to scrunch a little bit of the crunch out. Just know your hair, it's gonna show it's truly, look, it's gonna take like, you see how long my hair is? My hair was a good probably inch and a half shorter when I used this because Baby, that shrink did not play. It did not play, but I love this product and I will be purchasing more of this. I will be pur purchasing more of this because of how long I have had it and how many wash and goes I can get out of it. Yes, it was kind of pricey, but I'm okay with that because this came, showed up and showed out. This gives me a uniform wash and go. This does not give me a free form wash and go, like I said, because it does have a lot of hold to it. So my wash and go, I'll typically do a side part and it will be in place, okay? So that's my number four spot. Let's go ahead and get into number five. All right, y'all, so number five, I do think that this has appeared on my top five before. 
I think y'all know I really just can't remember because I changed my mind so much. I know y'all have seen stuff that has never appeared before and stuff that has reappeared, but I just always have to give y'all an updated one because I try different products. I use them in different ways. I get to wear them a couple of times because nothing that I have tried one time will appear in my top five. I have to try it multiple times. I gotta try it on camera for y'all because after I try it on camera for y'all, yeah, y'all see the finished product and yeah, y'all might see a day after as in when it's dry or something like that, but I'm the one who has to wear it for the rest of the week. And that's when I'm able to tell y'all my true, true feelings on it because there are some products with a wash go, baby, it just didn't last. It just did not last. And it was cute before, but it wasn't cute too long after, okay? Or either my hair was just super duper dry. So these products, just know that I have used them a couple of times and you may have seen them appear on my channel a couple of times, but that's not why they're my top five. I have to try it out a couple of times just to make sure, yes, I truly like this product and I'm okay with telling y'all that this product is tea. You can go get it. I recommend you go get it and see how it works for your hair. So that's just how, that's just a disclaimer I had to say, I try these products multiple times to make sure that they, they live up to what they say they do. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into number five. Number five is a product I just used. This is the Uncle Funky's Daughter. This is the Curly Magic awesome wash and go it gives me a free form wash and go for sure so y'all see i have a mix of free form and uniform wash and goes if you don't know what that is like this is a free form wash and go you see how flowy fluffy it is i really ain't got no part for real like it's just here it's just a cute wash and go but a uniform one is where it's you can see my part the curls are crispy the curls are uniformed and you know it's no extra fluff or extra flip frizz and nine times out of 10, it doesn't have this much movement. So that's just quick difference. But this right here goes in the number five spot. I have been using this a lot recently. I did just repurchase this. I love the texture. Love, love, love the texture. This is one of the products that can stand alone because I can detangle with it. So we love that. The dues, I cannot detangle with them. So that's where they fall short just a little bit, but not too short. But this I can detangle with because it does have a ton of slip to it. And it just helps define my curls even more. And even though it does have a lot of slip to it, it still gives me a really nice wash and go that's free form, but not too free form, not too fluffy or anything like that. So I love this product and it smells so good. It has like a ginger-ish smell to it. I think it's ginger. Like, I think it's a gingery smell. Yeah, it's like a lemon ginger. It smells like lemon ginger to me. And that's just, that's just icing on the cake because I love a ginger smell. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. So this product definitely goes in my top five. I will not be letting this go no time soon. I cannot wait to wash and go season. Y'all comment down below what else y'all want me to try, what other wash and go products y'all want me to try. Because I ain't even gonna lie, sometimes I do feel like I'm running out of wash and go products to try. Like, oh, what can I do a wash and go with? But it's just because I do stray away from creams. I stray away from creams because I just be assuming that they're just not gonna work because y'all see me try creams before. Like, my high porosity hair just don't fool with it. Like, these are all heavy products. So if you are low porosity, I don't know I'm high porosity so I need a heavy product that's really gonna define my curls because creams they just don't I've yet to come across cream but I said I'm gonna try something that is a cream and get back into it try to review it and stuff like that but I don't want to take the shine away from my products you're gonna see that all of them are pretty much custards or gels straight up custards and gels that's really all I use and I know we always be wanting to try different stuff, but hey, what works, works. And if that excludes me from a certain part of the aisle, it just does because, baby, they call money. This costs money. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this video. I hope y'all enjoyed my top five wash and go products. Let me know yours down below or let me know how you feel about these products individually. If you've seen the videos of me trying them out, talk about those with me as well. Let me know if you tried it out. All that good stuff because y'all know I love to hear. 
but i want to thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video